Men mature slower. Wrong. I think this is a convenient excuse for women that don't want to date within their league. You just don't want to admit to yourself that equal opportunity is exactly what made a lot of men less attractive to you. A man that is your age will probably be making the same amount as you and living the same lifestyle as you. Which sounds boring to you, right? Well, you can thank hypergamy for that one. Your claims of immaturity in men are just an excuse to justify only acknowledging the men that are 10 years older with a more established career, goals, and lifestyle. Listen, hun, there is a such thing as growing together. And I'm sure it's more rewarding than staying lonely forever as you continue to egotistically entitle yourself to something you aren't even worth. Well, all of my friends who prioritized having kids in their 20s are all now single moms at 40 and divorced. I got so many of these comments on my last video, so I'm going to touch on it now. Disregarding exceptional reasons such as real abuse, the fact is 80% of women are the ones ending marriages, 90% if they have a degree. Now, I've known about this statistic way before Jordan Peterson started popping off, and unfortunately, it was due to my own research because I saw how many of my female friends were leaving their husbands. I'm very tired of this victim mentality that has manifested within the female realm. It is hard for me to have empathy for single divorced moms when 90% of the time they are at fault for it. It is completely self-inflicted. I'm also coming from a place of self-critique because believe it or not, just like every woman in America, I have succumbed to some of those thoughts. But we listen to social media and mass media and we tell ourselves that there's someone else there that's gonna treat us even better and we neglect the other party, which is our husbands, and then all the children that are involved as well. Oh, but let's not forget the vows you took. You cannot discredit my theory of prioritizing a family first and then working on a career, all because you have women that fall in that 90% category that left their husbands. Now just wait for this comment section to blow up on all the women that tell me they are the exception, that 90% are leaving because the men are so terrible. This guy's red pill and he's, he's spitting facts. I can guarantee this dude is red pilled, okay? Let me tell you a story, people. The BBC article today about women, that woman that cried sexual harassment because a guy offered to help her in the gym, because she could have broken her leg, she could have broken her arm, you know, that's just the facts. I've said it many a time, I don't know what I'm doing in the gym, I'm always asking guys for help. If that gentleman that had gone up to this girl and offered her help was below a seven, that's what he's saying, right, he's right. If it was someone that she found attractive she, we wouldn't be talking right now. I wouldn't be here making this video. That BBC article would have never come out, okay? Across everything, across every single stupid TikTok video you see of a woman complaining about sexual harassment in the gym, it doesn't happen. Women stare just as much back. It, what, you're gonna persecute guys now for staring? Oh, come on, seriously. But let me just, let me just say, those are the facts. When you learn the red pill, this is what it will teach you. It will teach you what that guy said, okay? It, there is no one on this planet that can ab tell me otherwise that if that girl fancied, say, Henry Cavill or Brad Pitt, right, and it was Brad Pitt walked up to her and offered her help, she's going to accept his help. Why? Think about it. Let it sink, sink in. Start using our brains, people, okay? It's female privilege. Listen, I've just rocked up to a bar, okay? It's sunny in England. It's beautiful. We're coming into summer. It's I'm out and about. I walked up to the bar, there's an older guy standing there, he'd been in there way before me, clearly. He let me go first. Let's talk about female privilege, okay? I'm privileged every single day of my life. Backtrack, he let me go first, I thanked him. Backtrack to an hour ago, I was in Dunnell Mill, which is for my American followers, is a big superstore, I bought some furniture, okay? A guy clocked what I was wearing, right? I know how to use my femininity to my advantage. I'm not stupid, except the difference between me and these victim types is I'm polite. I, buy, I buy, bypassed about three different people. He came straight to me and I said, I'd like to order some furniture, please. He by bypassed them straight to me. Female privilege. I, I, okay, I can give you examples all day long. And today, what else have I done? I've had my car cleaned inside and out. Okay, I got five pound off female privilege because I go all the time they like me what you know what 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 like start fixing up people don't complain about men okay when you know for a fact that you can use your femininity in a positive way 
but don't denigrate men at the same time doing it. Accept compliments graciously. If you don't want someone's help, say, no, thank you very much, I'm okay. You don't have to go to the, run into the newspapers and start calling out men for sexual harassment. You want to look like a hoe in a gym, you need to face the consequences. It's that simple. Why is it that we don't realize that what, we're, what it really means when we're asking men to protect us? When we're asking men to protect us, we're asking them to put their lives on the line. We're asking them to die for us. We're asking men to sacrifice themselves, period. That is what protection is. Protection can come in all forms. And from a, ma a macro level, protection means providing protection for us within this country. On a micro level, men provide protection to his family, his home, and his community. Traditionally, what makes his sacrifice worthwhile is knowing that his woman is grateful and her showing appreciation and knowing that his family feels safe, happy, and taken care of. Modern women live, we're, we're no longer living like traditional women. We don't act like tradi tradi traditional women and we don't have the characteristics of traditional women. But we still expect men to act like traditional men. Make it make sense. So my point is stop asking for a traditional man to provide, protect, and all of this stuff that, you, that we want men to do if we don't hold tra traditional women qualities, characteristics, and attributes. Men are so stingy. You will have to break your leg 10 times before they give you okay so the definition of stingy is when you're unwilling to give or spend to someone and my question is is like why do should we expect someone to spend on us when we're not showing them our worth and why is a man not comfortable enough to give to you or spend to you let's also keep in mind that there are women out there that actually use men for free entertainment free food and free money and they even brag about it on social media also let's say that the man is the problem what can you do to not come across him in a different face in a different body you, you shouldn't have to move heavy mountains for a guy well, if, if he's not willing to give you anything back because of it, you build a man up and he gives back to you. You should prove your worth to someone before they give to you. My biggest pet peeve is when the guy that I am talking to doesn't let me go down on him whenever I want. Like, what is that? If I want to go down on you three, four times in a day, in the afternoon, and then three more times at night, why won't you let me? You know what I'm saying? Like, where does that even come from? These guys that are like, oh, I'm too busy. No, you're not too busy. Lay down and let me. Time to go down. Jesus Christ. I Men are so easy. All you need to do is be naked, cook food, do smiles, do sex. That's all you need to do. I'm gonna be brutally honest with y'all for a second. I started making videos and calling women out on the era of their ways in 2015 before it was popular to do so. Because I, as a woman, understand what men can go through when dealing with women. The main women who yell that other women that understand the plight of men are pick me's are the main ones not getting picked by any damn body. And that's their problem. See, it's an ego thing. When you hear me giving advice and telling you the error of your ways and what you could possibly be doing wrong, you feel like, how dare she? Who the hell does she think she is? When you know most of what I'm saying is true, but you're too egotistical to admit it. You feel personally attacked because a hit dog will holler. Women who understand the plight of men. Unfortunately, I don't think there will ever be enough of y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this compilation. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. Until the next video, you guys. Deuces.